Hi there, in this video I will show you how to set up and run Airbox for the first time. After opening Airbox you will see the main user interface. To begin playout we will need to load some media files. To add media files we will right click on the blank playlist area. We can then select add which will provide a number of options for us. We will choose the media files option. Now we can select a media file to import into Airbox. I have some preloaded media files here. I'm going to select this media folder and choose to import this VLC media file into Airbox. In order to start playout, we can select the play button in this toolbar. Alternatively, we can select the jump button to play our selected media file. After a slight delay, we can see Airbox is streaming the selected media file. We can see the selected media file within this area and we can see the preview in the top left. We can also see the counters and the local time, current playlist options, the name of the playlist, a log view and the shot box. Here we have the main playout controls. We can stop, pause, jump and queue other media files to be played directly afterwards. We can also toggle on and off the automation controls using this button. To multiply media files, we can hold control and drag the media file with the mouse. This will extend your playlist. As you can see, the playlist is now extended with the duplicated media file. Underneath the preview window, we can find a toolbar that offers even more options. We can create a new playlist. We can load a playlist from a file. We can save a playlist or save it as a daily playlist. We can insert clips after or before our marked clip. We can remove selected clips. And you can also clear all playlist items from the playlist area. To move media files down or up in the playlist, you can use these buttons. We can also reset our list and randomize selected items by using this button. We can view the properties of a selected media file by using the cog button. We can see all sorts of properties such as source, general, fixed time, transition and metadata. We also have the option of trimming the selected clip using this button. This is the trim window. We can also undo actions and change the orientation of Airbox to your preference. Now you have a basic understanding of setting up and starting Airbox for the first time.